Hey everyone, it's Erin Flodo here and I am here doing a review slash giveaway for this Tombow.Grid journal. So I got the Tombow VIP Club box uh, for October, which is no longer on sale, but they do have some of the items listed on their TombowUSA.com website, um, but this journal is not listed on there, but I have a feeling it will be because the Tombow Fudenosuke Colors was also not listed on their website, but now is. And actually the day I'm filming this, it was on sale. So keep a lookout for those. It's under the new tab on TombowUSA.com and you can see that um, they have these Fudenosuke Color. It's It comes in a um, temp pack. If you watch my live, you know all about that. But that is not what I'm reviewing today. I am reviewing the Dot Grid Journal. I can't really give you a price on it yet because, like I said, it's not in their shop, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, but I have a feeling it will be. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a giveaway through it since I didn't really need another journal. And I definitely want <laughs> those color brush pens. So this felt like the good option to do it. Uh, the VIP box was $30 and it came with the colors, the mono drawing pens, and this journal. So just doing a little bit of basic reading here. It's a hardcover art journal with premium quality 90 GSM bright white paper. Use your favorite Tombow products with, without fear of them bleeding through pages. Perfect size for travel and, and on the go. 160 dot grid pages. So. Um, like I said, I bought this, so this was not sent to me. I'm not asked, I'm not being asked to do a review on this or anything like that. So hopefully that helps you come to a decision if and when they release this notebook. So by comparison, the scribbles that matter is, uh, it's more of a, it's not a bright white. It's more of a, um, ivory or an off-white color, and it is 100 GSM. So I'm actually gonna open up this scribble so that I can compare them to each other because you guys mostly know my channel for my use of scribbles that matter. So I thought it would be um, easy to do a review between those two. Sorry for the noises. So as a basic difference, you can obviously see that this Scribbles That Matter is thicker and it also has vegan leather versus the uh, linen cover of the Tombow. Uh, this has more pages. It has 201 pages versus the uh, 160 dot grid pages. So just doing a basic test. This is on there pretty good but has some flexibility. Um, it's pretty standard with the bullet journals that I have seen. Uh, this one does have a cute foiled quote that says, create your best work, which is really adorable. And I love the flourishing on this. This book belongs to and the date and it is really a very bright white. It does not have any index pages or anything like that versus the scribbles that matter. And you can see it's a it's a stark difference. Um, this definitely is a bright white and this definitely is an off white or a uh, ivory of sorts. So it just jumps right on in. There are not number pages. There is no index or any of that information. I, I've said this before about um, the Thought Space Journal. I don't like that these journals have the first page like this. Um, I, I find it annoying to write on. So I'm not the biggest fan. If you can tell, these two are connected together and then it starts the journal. I honestly would not use this page uh, because it, it's just awkward. So that is my thought there. Uh, like I said, there are no number pages. And then in the back, 
again is that same thing where it's connected to the back page and not the rest of the journal. It has one, to be honest, kind of pathetic <laughs> bookmark. Um, I feel like I could probably rip this out pretty easily. It's um, very flimsy, very thin. So it only has one bookmark. And by comparison, um, you guys know the Scribbles That Matter has the key, several pages of index, and then it jumps into it and it has number pages here at the bottom. And then at the back, it also has a pen test page that you can look at and then the mindfulness, um, which is new, it's newer to the Scribbles That Matter. Um, I did not have this in many of my first ones, but I've had it in my last two. And then this has a um, pen loop that they do, they did have manufacturing issues. Honestly, I never really had those issues, so I'm not quite sure, <laughs> but apparently there were manufacturing issues with the pen loop, so they um, have it bolted in a little bit more, so I mean, this thing's not gonna come out. This also has a back folio page, um, and you can see it is connected to the back cover, and then there is a sheet over it. This does not have a back, a back pocket at all. So let's go through and do a little bit of a pen test. I am going to use the Tombows because it does say um, for use of ow, um, your favorite Tombow products without fear of them bleeding through the pages. So that's got to be good, right? Because um, if you're buying their products, they probably shouldn't bleed through. That is a good idea. So I'm going to grab a couple Tombows. I'll go ahead and grab the drawing pens that came in the VIP box. I needed some more of these anyways. Um, you guys have seen me use these on my channel before. I've been on a Muji kick lately. If I can open this, that would be helpful. I've been on a Muji kick lately, so I have not been using the Tombow mono pens or any sort of um, felt or artist pen. I've been using the gel Muji pens. So I have these. I'll go ahead and break open these Tombows, which if you saw my live, you've already seen a first look of these. I'll be doing a full review on these later, but I'll just grab a couple here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple other pens, including some like Crayola Super Tips, which a lot of people like to use. I'll go ahead and grab a couple Kelly Creates markers. Um, what else do people use a lot? Let's go ahead and let's just get us a couple sign pens, which is their competitor, but you might as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. The anticipation is killing me. All right, so um, the Tombow did not bleed through. However, on this blue one here, it does look like it's about to bleed through. Not sure if you can see that. Hopefully you can. It does look like it's about to bleed through. Um, the drawing pens and the few Nosoke colors uh, are just regular ghosting, I would say. Uh, Crayola is pretty regular ghosting, Kelly Creates. The Pentel Sign pens, however, are also um, bleeding through a bit um, on that red one. Sometimes I don't have good luck with those in 
my scribbles either so we'll go ahead and see I'll just uh, recreate it over here and then we can take a closer look Okay, now that I have completely create, recreated it over here, let's go ahead and take a look at how each turned out. Okay, so you can see the Pentel Sign Pen has bled through a little bit more on the Tombow than it did over here on the Scribbles. Same thing with the... Um, the dual brush pen. This blue is a pretty juicy brush pen. That's one of the reasons why I picked it. So you can see like it's heavily ghosting over here, but over here it's just, it's just bleeding through just a touch right on top there. Um, but it's not to the point where it's fully bled through, but you can see like kind of the same texture on the top. It's just go, it's more of a ghost than it is uh, bleed through so I mean overall it held up pretty decently except for with the juicier pens so that's not too bad at all so I'm just gonna go through and um, break it in a little bit and see if there's any issues with the binding at all and even towards the back it is lying almost perfectly flat. Okay, so it's lying very flat. It's in good shape. The binding is in good shape. I don't want to tug on this too much because I, like, I can see some of the glue um, on the top there, but I just, I don't really trust it. It, it just feels a little bit too flimsy for my taste. Um, what would I recommend this I guess is the final question so honestly it really depends on the price um, because it's only 160 pages so if this is like a $10 notebook um, if this is like a $10 notebook with the quality and with the um, amount of pages the fact that they're not numbered um, it is bright white, so I'll give them that. But overall, I probably wouldn't spend more than $15 on it just because the Scribbles is $20 and you do get two bookmarks, you get the page. Uh, obviously, you guys know I am a huge Scribbles That Matter fan. Take it with a little bit of bias because this is like my 10th <laughs> Scribbles That Matter bullet journal so um, I, I kind of have feelings towards my scribbles that matter but this is only $20 and you get so many more pages and the quality is just that touch better you get the two bookmarks you get the pocket you get the pen loop all that kind of stuff so I don't know really what Tombow's plans are in terms of um, maybe offering an option with a pen loop you can buy them on Etsy but just think about that that is an additional cost if you like the pen loop. You can get a um, little back pocket, but again, you have to think that's going to be an extra cost. You can find those on Etsy. You can make them yourself. Um, you have to pay for the materials to make them yourself, but you can, and you can definitely do it with even just uh, copy paper and some washi tape, really. You can make those types of notebooks. But it's honestly just what you're comfortable paying for the quality. So paper quality wise, I feel like it's pretty on par with a Loic Derm um, 1917. I, I believe those are both 90 GSM, so it is pretty on par with that. The Loic Derm does come numbered and with some more pages. I think it's 190. I might be wrong. And this one is only 160. 
if you're already buying stuff from Tombow and you just want to go ahead and throw this in, it, it's also um, not a leather cover, which means that I don't really know how this is going to hold up over time. The leather is pretty good holding up over time. So I don't know. I, I don't know um, because honestly, it's really going to come down to the price at the end of the day. Um, cause if it's only a couple more dollars or if it's the same price, I'm going to lean towards scribbles because just the sheer number of pages. First of all, this fits me six months comfortably, but this would probably not last that long, right? Cause it's 160 pages versus 200 pages. So this would last me probably about four months versus six months. And I like to do my um, journals every six months, no matter what, <laughs> really. So those are my slightly biased, slightly unbiased thoughts on the matter. Um, you guys can see the proof of the pen test for yourselves and make your own judgment calls based on what I'm telling you and what you're seeing. But honestly, if you like this bright white, uh, it's a pretty good paper quality for bright white. Um, I don't have any fountain pens inked up to test a fountain pen. So, sorry. <laughs> but regardless, I am doing this journal as a giveaway. Like I said, I have enough journals. I'm a Scribbles That Matter girl all the way. Um, the no page number thing would definitely bother me, but it might not bother some people. It could also be used as a sketchbook. Um, if you just wanted like a dot journal for a sketchbook, that's entirely possible. I don't know. I don't want to tell you how to live your lives. <laughs> so, uh, go look in the description below. This will be run as a giveaway for us residents on my Instagram. So I'll have the link to the post down below for that particular um, giveaway post. All you'll have to do is comment on the post and things like that. Um, I might throw in like one or two more things depending on how I feel. Maybe I'll throw in a cleaning tracker or something like that. Um, I do have a new release coming this week so maybe I'll throw in one of those new releases also and you'll get to see uh, by the time I post this as well. So I hope you like this video. I hope you like hearing more about new products. If you wanna see more reviews from me, just let me know down in the comments below um, and tell me in the comments below what you think of this. Do you like a bright white paper or do you like more of an ivory paper? What speaks to you guys? Do you like having this foil cover? What, what, what are your thoughts? I would love to hear them down below. Um, and then definitely go check out that description if you're a U.S. resident to sign up for the giveaway. So thank you all for joining me this week, and I will see you again next week. Bye, everyone.